Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Juliet, like you already know. I'm a person test of English today. And guess what? In today's video, I have an amazing person here because um, she's one of my students that just passed her exams. And um, I have the privilege and honor to be talking to her here and I'm bringing all she has to say to all of you. And I'm just going to let her to introduce herself and then we'll go on from there. So tell us your name. Hello everyone, my name is Victory from Nigeria. Yes, I'm one of the students from the English prep class by Juliet. Yes, and I passed my exams. Woo! Just passed my exams. All oh, thanks to God and thanks to Juliet as well. Oh, that yeah. put in all our effort, making sure that everything went on smoothly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good to know. Okay, so the first question I have here, um, did the class meet your expectations and how did you find the classes? What was your initial opinion when you, when your, I think your brother was the one that contacted me, he lives here in Australia, when he yeah. said, oh, I've gotten you a tutor, yeah. what was your expectation? And then did the class meet the expectation? <laughs> okay, yes, the class really did meet my expectation because yeah. uh, I always wanted to apply to school. I have had a particular course in mind I wanted to go for. But yeah. whenever I get to, whenever I've been told that, oh, you need to write an English test, I'm always like, whoa, this fear inside of me. Because, you know, people around me always say, no, writing an English test is not that easy and all that. So yeah. definitely, yes, I needed to go for that course. And when my brother called me and he said, oh, yes, you need to come for your master's, you need to come for this particular course, and you need to sit for an English test. I was like, no, not again. You have to just go for another course. And he said, you have to do this course. But he told me, oh, don't worry. Somebody recommended somebody to me by the name Juliet. She's in Australia, and she'll be taking you on um, the class. And I was like, hey, God, okay, no problem. Let's give it a try. Actually, I, I, when, when he told me okay, it was going to be online, I said, no problem. You know, online classes and all that. And when it has to do with English, you have to be attentive. It's going to take your time, your data. And, and I was like, okay, no problem. But having a class with Juliet was amazing. Oh, thank amazing. you. <laughs> she, took, she, she took her time. She took her time. When she tells you it's 9 Nigerian time by 9 a.m. Nigerian time, she's always there. If she tells you it's 7 a.m. Nigerian time, it's always there. She's always taking every of the models in PTE. She's taking it one after the other. You know, even when there's this fear inside of me, she's always detecting it. She'll tell me, just take it, calm down. Everything will be fine and all that. You know, this anxiety inside of me, I always like, oh, am I going to make this? Am I going to pass and all that? And I needed this particular um, uh, Mac pass. But she's an amazing person. Yes. Right, I love the class. You. It's oh. all worth it. Thank you so much. I'm going to put, um because I, I had to do a screenshot of the, the score you needed. I'm going to put it here at this point of this video. Then okay. as we go on, I'm also going to put the score you finally got. That score was amazing. I know you didn't okay. get 90, 90, 90, 90, but you got the score that you needed. That is the height of it for me. I'm not, uh, I'm not a tutor that will say, oh, why didn't you get 90, 90, 90? No. Some people need that. Some people just need to get 65. And then you, the most yeah. important thing is you met the the mark the pass mark that you needed that was what matters mattered to me yeah so the next question i have here is um yeah so yeah you've already said were you able to achieve your desired score how did you go about it yes i was able to achieve my desired score firstly you know i i didn't think it was up to a month we we started the, no. the class yes no. I think it was like two or three weeks. And I remember when I, I asked you and I said, oh, Juliet, I really want to to write this exam because I know the school portal is going to be closing by October. I needed to, and you were like, okay, if you feel, but you said something like, I always ask my students if it's a week or two, you know, I, and I was like, okay. I was going to be, if I'm going to be attentive with your class i'm going to put in all my best in your class then why not i have to take the shots yes so but it was amazing you know when the when the when the mark when the score came out i was like whoa is this me it's not up to a month i had this class and i'm going to say juliet is a very nice person you know and um she we we have we're supposed to have a, a 10 days class 
but she gave me an extra Monday. And that extra Monday was in the morning. She was supposed to be sleeping. She woke up very early in the morning. <laughs> she no, woke I, up I in the that. morning and she was like, no, we need to have a revision done. It was like, are you <laughs> <laughs> no, no, about that, Ab- no, about that. Yes, I had my desired score and it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. about that, about me giving you an extra class, that there was something I saw about you. I saw your willingness to pass. I mean, the first day I had, the first time I had a class with you, you went back and you actually got the mock test from one of those websites and you tried it out. And you told me you tried out. In my mind, I'm like, wow, this is a serious student. Yeah, because I always tell my husband that there are some students you teach, you would love to teach them, but there are some you drag your feet to teach them. I'm sorry, no offense to, no bad feelings to anyone. But when I saw you take that step, it was a bold step. I saw the willingness to pass. And you also told me something. You said, even when you go to work and there's free time that you keep practicing, that your colleague even told you, ah, that what are you practicing, that you're really trying. And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, wow, this person is willing to pass. So when I see that willingness, I give it my best because writing um, PT exam here in Australia is $350. When you add GST, it's $385. And then I know how much I charge. So imagine all those money, somebody invests it in you and then you feel, I don't feel happy when people don't pass their PT. So I try to, and when I see the willingness in you to pass, I give it my best shot. I try to carry you along. I try to make sure that I teach you everything that you need so that you get your desired score. So like I said, it's not going to be a very long video. Any recommendation, any final words and all that? Yes, yes, yes. I'm recommending everybody to Juliette. She's a great tutor. Yes, for everything you need regarding PT, Juliette is there for you. So please go to her class, English Prep. You can get her on Instagram, on her videos on um on YouTube are amazing. Yeah. In fact, the way she breaks everything down is very explanatory, yes. And her teaching as well, her classes are fantastic. So I recommend anyone way for PT, please go for G. Oh, I understand Nigerian network. Well, thank you so much, and I wish you all the best in your endeavor. Yeah. I hope to see you in Australia soon, and I, I, ho- I hope to see you soaring so high and achieving all your dreams. Thank you so much for coming on my channel today, and I'll see you some other time. Thank you. Bye.